is up, people of YouTube, I am back for yet another review, so stick around until the end and watch out for the freakers. I'm your host, Savior Planet Entertainment, and this is Days Gone. Don't go away. Like most games I play, I really don't do any like research on the games. I don't really watch any of the trailers. I don't really go in depth of like when it's releasing and everything. Unless it's like a huge game like, like The Last of Us Part 2 or something. I just, you know, see the first trailer and think, you know, okay. Days Gone. Zombie survival game. Could be interesting. Three years later, on April 26, 2019, said zombie game is released. And a few months later, I finally got my hands on it. It played, you know pretty much okay. exactly how I expected. If Days Gone was a recipe and it had three main ingredients, I, I would put number one, zombies, number two, survival, and number three, romance. This was a huge surprise. I thought I was getting into a zombie killer game with maybe a bit of a story, let alone a story as compelling as this one. There's a large uh, varying cast of characters with Deacon as the star of the show. And uh, along with that, this, the story with Deacon and Sarah, I mean, I will get more into that in the overall impact category, but you still have a wide range of characters throughout Days Gone, which in turn is the foundation for the story. The setup is simple. Deacon and Sarah are married. Zombie outbreak happens. Some random child stabs Sarah in the gut. They go to get on a helicopter, but there's only room for one. So Deacon says, don't worry, I'll meet you at the landing point. So they go to the landing point, Deacon and Boozer that is, and they find an absolutely destroyed helicopter and everything's absolutely destroyed. Sarah must be dead. Two years later, there's whispers that Sarah might be alive thanks to Nero Outpoint boy, O'Brien. That's the setup of the story. It, it's pretty It's pretty simple. There's, there's zombies everywhere. Sarah might be alive. This little glimmer of hope. And it works really well for such a simple story. Zombies. Or as this variation calls them, freakers. You can fight regular ones you can fight the big ones the fast ones the the screaming ones you can also fight zombie bears zombie wolves zombie birds on top of regular humans you fight on a day-to-day -day basis in days gone fighting scenarios can really vary But probably the most famous and notorious of enemies in Days Gone are, of course, hordes. The hordes are just freakers in general, you know, uh, but they're more than one dimension. They are like bees. They swarm, poke their nest, and they will hit you hard. I might go into more depth on the hordes in another video because, like, there's a lot to talk about them, but I'll refrain from turning this review into a podcast. Here we are, gameplay, 93 out of 100 pros, great story, and, and great characters, and varying gameplay, and combat is great. Cons? A few glitches, it's a little bit rough around the engines, uh, engines, edges, I mean, it's just a couple little things, like you lose frames at some areas, and maybe like you go to interact with something, but he like does it, like she spins in circles or some weird shit, it's a, it's a little bit rough, but it's not the craziest thing I've ever seen. Moving on though. Second category, presentation. Pause for a little energy, huh? Should use this again. Yeah. What was that? Presentation 
in Days Gone is very, very strong. Just in the voice acting alone, Sam Witwer, Witwer, you did it. He does an amazing job as Deacon. And I got to say, uh, Nishi Munchi, uh, hopefully I got that right, but the voice actor for Ricky. It, really well done. Those are the two. Deacon and Ricky, I felt, were really a step above in the voice acting category compared to everybody else. I want to ride up north, check out the Hydro Dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there. You know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? There isn't a lot to talk about in the uh, open world, at least. It's not the most uh, beautiful scenery I've ever seen in an open world, but I'm not surprised since all of the characters in Days Gone literally call the open world the shit. So, you know, there's that. But my main point about Days Gone in the presentation side of things, the soundtracks. Every angle of Days Gone has a great soundtrack embedded right into it. Doing a mission for Sarah, sitting at the main menu, you're covered. Even when you're looking for a horde and you enter to where they're located, you'll be hit with a great soundtrack. Uh, it's intimidating. It's like devouring. It's, it's suffocating. The soundtrack for when you're looking for a horde or you're around zombies is great. You know, you hear that and you go, oh shit, here we go again. You know, I often say as a metaphor, it's best for soundtracks in all types of entertainment. It's, it's best used as an ingredient, not a layer. It should be baked in, not put on top. Here we are, presentation, 82 out of 100. Pretty good, bros. Great voice acting across the whole board. Uh, I do think that uh, Ricky and Deacon were the two best, but you know, also well done soundtracks. In, in today's uh, world, there's not that much emphasis on soundtracks, which is a shame, but I think Days Gone really nailed it. And cons, open world isn't too impressive, so that's kind of a con, but moving on, we still got the last category, overall impact, let's go. Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do, yeah? Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah, Boozer's one of us now. Here's what I've wanted to talk about for Days Gone. Again, like I said in the beginning, I went in, I thought a zombie shoot 'em up game could be cool, almost like an arcade style, you know, kill as many as you can. I never thought in a million years I would walk out of Days Gone 50 hours later thinking, you know, Sarah and Deacon, their relationship absolutely stole the entire game. See you. Be a guest and have a quick listen to this like five second clip. That little five second guitar riff symbolizes the entire 50 hour experience of days gone for me that is days gone right there that sound that deacon and sarah are a great couple and i think probably my favorite game couple of all time it, it really is special every mission every person or freaker i killed every mile i drove on that damn bike it was all for sarah all of it and i say days gone i think of sarah and deacon and that puts a smile on my face Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. Coming around full circle here on the review, coming at the end here, I'd like to point out a couple little uh, small things. Uh, one of them is the game is long. It's about 50 hours or more. It took me about 50 hours to finish, which is insane. Did not expect that. And while we are on the same uh, footnote here, for a 50 hour game, I never got burnt out. Uh, it's, I mean, every mission on paper is essentially the same. Although in-game, it plays a lot different. There are so many different strategies, rush versus stealth, humans versus zombies, or my personal favorite, baiting a freaker horde into an enemy base camp. It's like watching rats in a bucket full of water, and it's glorious. Yes. For 
first one down, now the rest of you. Bunch of murdering sons of bitches. I really like the set of vibrations. Yeah? There's another one. I got you now, Wonderful. <laughs> Here we are, overall impact, 89 out of 100. Pretty good, pretty good. Pros, very good game. Overall, Days Gone is a great game. Deacon and Sarah uh, together are just uh, unbelievable and memorable theme. The game has great soundtracks. It's overall great cons, really no huge cons. But here we are, boil all the numbers down. What do we get? 8.8 .8 out of 10, pretty damn solid. It's actually really hard to get a high score for me because I'm pretty critical of games, but Days Gone really did impress me. So that's it. Days Gone is done. It was it was really damn good. I say maybe even a contender for game of the year 2019. Might be a little early to say that though as I still have a few games I want to get my hands on. But for now, I'm your host, Saber Planet Entertainment, and I hope you enjoy this review. Peace. Cope, it's done. If there's any more of them, maybe they'll get the message to stay out of our land. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you want to support my channel, make sure to like and subscribe for future videos. I cover all areas of entertainment from books to movies, TV shows and games, all the above. And if you're really dedicated, I do have my Patreon links in the description. Anything that's donated to my channel in any way necessary, half of it is going back to charity because it's the least I can do. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and have a great day. Peace.